Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop Elements and create a dramatic landscape using three techniques. Now these three techniques are the same ones that you can apply to almost any landscape to make them look a little bit better. Enhance the color and sharpness and create that dramatic landscape. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is the image after it's already been completed. Let's go ahead and go to edit and revert. You don't have to do that, but this is my original photo. Now a lot of times the camera has a hard time picking up and getting good tones between a real white cloud and some dark shadows whenever you're taking a picture maybe at a beach like I have right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up under enhance and we are going to adjust the lighting and we're going to adjust the shadows and highlights. Now you've probably done this quite often but I'm going to give you a real quick technique and a nice memorization technique called the 15 15 15. So we're going to lighten the shadows by 15 we're going to darken the highlights by 15, and we're going to change the mid-tone contrast by minus 15. Now, one of the reasons why we change the mid-tone contrast is we're going to be adding a blending mode layer on, later on, and that's going to give it some contrast back. If we don't change this mid-tone contrast, what's going to happen is, is we're going to get too contrasty of an image. So let's go ahead and choose the 15, 15, and minus 15 right there. The next thing we need to do is we need to go under Enhance and we're going to adjust the lighting one more time. We're going to go over to Adjust Lighting and we're going to adjust the levels. Now I like to change this one. If you move the white and black in like a lot of people tell you to, that gives you a lot more contrast and like I said we're going to be using a blending mode so we don't necessarily want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 1.25. Five. And what that's going to do is that's going to brighten that up just a little bit, brighten the grays up. So there we have that. So it was 15, 15, minus 15, and then we have 1.25. Now that we've brightened up the entire image just a little bit, more specifically the gray areas, what we're going to do is we're going to enhance this and we're going to adjust the sharpness. We're not going to use the unsharp mass this time. We're going to use the adjust sharpness right there gives you a nice large preview here. I like to just change mine to about 100% radius 1 pixel and then what I want to do is I want to change this to lens blur. A lot of people have their set on Gaussian blur right there and it does do a nice sharpening job but what I'm going to change mine to is lens blur just in case I might have bumped or moved the lens just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and select OK and that's going to sharpen my image. The next thing we're going to do after that is we're going to give it kind of a vignette right there. We're going to focus in on the center of the picture. I've got these two great pieces of driftwood here, very contrasty in there. But some of this information on the side we really don't want to focus in on. So we're going to zoom in on that by giving it a little bit of a vignette. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go under the filter menu and we're going to go to correct camera distortion. Now this is normally how you get rid of some of the barreling that's inside your image. Maybe it's a little bit bloated in the center, concave or convex. But I'm just going to use this by giving it a vignette right here. And what I like to do is I like to dial this down to about minus 25 right there is some place to start. Now of course you can change these however you want to but this is a real good starting point for your landscape photos and I'm going to select OK and it just kind of give it that just a little bit of a vignette there. Now then last thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a command J. We're going to duplicate this layer right here and then we're going to change the blending mode and when we do that it's going to put some more of that contrast back. Now that's one of the reasons why we took some of the contrast out in the first place. So let's go ahead and pick soft light right there and as you can see it kind of deepened it up. Now it's a little bit too contrasty. It puts too much of that darkness back in there. So I'm going to change the opacity here from 100%. I'm going to change that to about 50% right there, 50%. And there we have it. We have the image that's a little bit more contrasty. The colors are saturated just a little bit more. The image right here, the shadows are brightened a little bit. And of course, the overall sharpness is done. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me a thumbs up, a like, and pass my video on to your friends. Cheers!